In five years, building software will feel like sending an email. If you're not creating, you're deleting yourself from the economy. The biggest opportunities in 2025 won't come from ideas. They will come from execution speed. And the world rewards people who ship or deliver, not people who study. Because it's pretty clear, right? Ideas are free, but execution values everything. So today, you don't need a team. You don't need investors. You don't need to code. You need a problem worth solving and the courage to build messy, fast and simple. And in this video, we're not just going to talk about it. We are going to start building it together. No code, no excuses. So let's go. Look, building software used to be a heavyweight game. You needed a product manager to define the vision, a designer to map the experience, a front end developer to code the interface, also a back end developer to build the engine. You need a DevOps engineer to manage hosting and databases. You needed a QA team to find the bugs and tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars just to ship an MVP, essentially your basic version, which is why most people never made it past the idea stage, not because they lacked talent, but because the barrier to entry was too high. I mean, even giants like Slack or Airbnb, they didn't happen overnight. Slack actually took, I think, five years to pivot out of a failed game. And Airbnb survived by selling cereal boxes to pay their bills before anyone cared. I mean, building was slow because it had to be. But today, that entire team fits inside a $20 a month AI tool. Really, you describe your idea and the platform designs everything. It designs the UI, it builds the database, it writes the code, it hosts the app, it connects the payments. Literally, it even gives you the first version live while you're still finishing your morning coffee. Literally, in hours, not months. Of course, you still need creativity. You still need judgment and you still need to solve a real problem. But the infrastructure, it's all there waiting for the people who are bold enough to use it. Now look, <laughs> quick story. Two weeks ago, my husband and I were back in Romania for a family event, and we took this three-hour drive with my husband's cousin, who's in his early 20s, super smart, already working in tech. And somewhere between Bucharest and the mountains, we started talking and he started venting how painfully slow it was inside his company, how months are wasted building basic apps and how AI could do the same thing in days, but no one wanted to admit it yet. And I sat there thinking, this is not about competition anymore. It's about timelines. The companies and the individuals who win in 2025 will not be the ones who build better. They will be the ones who build faster because speed is no longer a competitive advantage. It's necessary. Momentum beats credentials. So later, I'll show you how I'm using tools like Lovable, a no-code AI builder, to create SaaS products without a single line of code. But first, let's talk about the real shift. Back in 2009, I co-founded my first SaaS company. Building back then wasn't about speed. It was about survival. You needed developers, designers, servers. You needed investors or massive personal risk. Shipping a first version took us close to 12 months and also probably close to $100,000. Even if you did everything right, you could still miss the market window and lose everything. I mean, building software was slow because it had to be. There was no shortcut. A lot of patience and a little bit of luck was what you could get. But today, the entire infrastructure we bled for in 2009 literally fits inside a browser subscription. The advantage does not belong to the biggest wallet anymore, which I think is massive. It belongs to the fastest mover. And this matters because attention spans are short. Markets move fast. Opportunities expire in months, not years. And the market will not wait and neither will the future. And to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, imagine that you build a simple habit tracker for a remote fitness coach, or you launch a client portal for real estate agents to manage showings, or you offer a project tracker for wedding planners, all with simple, lightweight SaaS applications. Complexity is where excuses hide. Simplicity is where execution lives. And if you want to take it to the next level, you can enhance it with AI chatbots that automate onboarding support and even sales follow-ups. I've made a video about this, so I'm not going to go into too much detail there because I think the model is micro SaaS plus micro agents leading to maximum impact with minimum resources. And I think the crazy part is that you don't need a, you know, a line of coding unless you know how to do it and you're more than welcome to use it. And you don't need to hire anybody and you don't need $100,000 or a year. 
You need an idea, a real problem that is worth solving, and you need the right tools to move on. And one of the tools that I'm using is called Lovable. And here's why I think this really is important. Uh, Lovable lets you turn natural language prompts into real apps. It lets you build with real frameworks like React and Superbase. It lets you host instantly, own your code, sync to GitHub, and refine your app just by describing updates. And I'm going to show you a real example in a second. But first, if you were starting today, where would you begin? I mean, here's the four part playbook. Part number one, pick a micro niche. Think small enough, like tattoo artists managing client bookings or high school soccer coaches tracking attendance or podcast hosts scheduling guest appearances. The smaller the niche, the bigger your leverage. Because here's the mistake that kills 90% of first time builders. They think too big. They dream about building the next Facebook, which I'm not saying you can't, you absolutely can do, but you need a little bit more in-depth thinking about the processes. And the truth is that the real money is in solving tiny, painful problems for very specific people. You do not need a billion users. You just need 10 or 100 or 1,000 people with a credit card and a bleeding neck problem. Step number two, solve a pain point. Do not reinvent the wheel. A task that wastes time, a process that frustrates the user, a boring admin flow that could be automated. Simple wins. Do not complicate it. Three, combine it with AI. Use chatbots for onboarding, as I said. Use agents for client support. You can increase the value and be able to charge more. Step number four, validate without overthinking. You do not need a 30-page business plan. You do not need six months of market research. All you need is five conversations with people who already have the problem that you're looking to solve. That's it. Ask them these three questions. What are the most annoying parts of your workflow right now? What software do you wish existed? And what would you pay to automate that? That's it. Five conversations, one real pain point and your solution. You're not trying to be Steve Jobs here. You are trying to solve a $99 a month problem better than anyone else. And with tools like Lovable, you can go from validated idea to live app and paying users because once you have the idea, here is the simple six step roadmap to build and launch. Step number one, write a simple problem statement. I want to help coaches track workouts or I want a client portal where users can log in, track their monthly goals and get automated AI generated reports every week. Step number two, break it into user stories. Do not skip this. This is massively important. Think of the user experience. The user logs in, adds client info, tracks sessions, views progress, because you need to be able to provide that information to Lovable. Then go ahead and open Lovable and describe what you want in plain English, but give all the details that you have. You cannot expect it to read your mind. So please do yourself a favor and be as clear as you can in terms of what you're expecting. Step number four, refine and expand, because from there you can shake the app. You can add authentication, sign up, login. You can add Stripe payments. You can add databases for user information. You can add front-end design tweaks, notifications, automations, dashboards simply by prompting the AI again. And when you're ready, you can export the full React code into GitHub. You own it, you control it. You can even hire developers later to upgrade it if you want or if you don't have the coding skills. But you don't have to because for a micro SaaS MVP, Lovable gives you everything you need to launch and sell. Step number five, connect hosting and payments. You can use Stripe, for example, and you can do that in minutes. And step number six, launch. Go ahead and get 10 users before you waste time perfecting it. Because here's the thing, you will learn more by launching a messy, imperfect app in seven days than by studying for seven months. You will never outlearn someone who outlaunches you. The world is not waiting and you do not need permission. I hope I've made myself clear on this one. You just need momentum. Execution speed is your new resume. The only real question is, are you willing to stop consuming and are you willing to start shipping or delivering? SaaS ideas because speed rewards builders and AI just removed every single excuse not to be one. Thank you so, so much Lovable for supporting today's video. I am a huge fan and I'm so grateful that I am able to work with you on this one. Okay, so if you're wondering, all right, but what kind of app could I even create? Well, here are some real tiny but powerful SaaS ideas that are winning right now. 
You can think about creating a client onboarding portal for niche consultants like fitness coaches or real estate agents or therapists. You can also think of internal tools for busy small businesses. I mean, you can think of a CRM for boutique marketing agencies, for example. You can think micro subscription services like automated social media planners for restaurant owners. Um, you can think lead qualification apps to collect and score and book leads without needing a sales team. And if you really want to multiply your offer, then as I said, you can combine your app with a custom AI chatbot. Uh, for example, you can think about building a lead tracking app for wedding photographers, and then you can attach a chatbot that instantly answers new client inquiries 24 seven. And you offer both as a client growth system. It's not a tool, you give them the result. So you don't sell software, you sell a package that leads to an outcome. Because at the end of the day, you're not just giving them another login, you are giving them time back, energy back, freedom back and that's why they will pay you and stick with you because they're getting true value all right you guys that was it for today thank you so so much for watching i really hope this was valuable i hope you found it useful and i do hope that you're gonna give lovable a try because honestly i think it is a complete game changer and you will be mind blown just as i was when i started using it thank you so much for giving us your time i know how valuable it is and i'm so so grateful that you chose to watch this video like it if you did be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so and also share with anyone in your circle of friends or family who you think might be benefiting from something like this and if you want to take this even further then make sure you join our free community it is so much fun you're going to be surrounded by thousands of people who have the exact same goals we get to engage a lot more than here we have free ai challenges that you can get involved in and jump on as soon as you start being part of the community and you will learn so so much not just from me but from everybody else who has been practicing all of this thank you again and until next time i suggest you go ahead and watch this video over here and i'll see you soon Bye.